This is the electric grid. It powers everything in your life. Your phone, your computer, where you live, the big cities, the small towns, everything. But there's a problem with the electric grid. It's old. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, 70% of transmissions are approaching the end of their 50 to 80 year life cycle. It was built to power a world with much simpler needs. Today's energy needs are far more complex. By 2050, energy usage could double. So what do we do? How do we fix the energy grid infrastructure? There is a solution, AI. But not the AI you see in your newsfeed. Behind the scenes, there is one type of AI that has been optimizing the world's most critical industries, and it might just save our grid. But here's the thing. To understand how AI could revolutionize our grid, we first need to see how this massive system actually works today. The U.S. electrical grid is a huge network, delivering electricity to millions of homes and businesses. And it's surprisingly straightforward. At least it used to be. In most parts of the world, the power grid was really built out in the 60s and 70s. And in the 60s and 70s, those engineers overbuilt the grid intending and anticipating growth. What's happened now is we have reached that limit. The traditional grid works in three simple steps. First, there's generation. Electricity gets produced by large centralized power plants. Then there's transmission. High voltage lines carry that electricity across long distances. Think of these as the interstate highway system for electricity. Finally, Distribution. Local lines step down the voltage and deliver power directly to your home, like local roads branching off the highway. But here's where things get tricky. To keep this system running, operators have to constantly balance electricity supply with demand across the entire grid. This is a global concern. A fragile grid can go down at any given time. It is a mission critical resource. And that means that nothing in our society would have power. If that balance gets thrown off even slightly, we're talking blackouts. And this balancing act, it's becoming increasingly complicated. Demand is accelerating, demand for power. It's accelerating from an industrial and commercial perspective. And it's also accelerating because we're moving towards more electrified devices. Technology has evolved so much that today's grid is a fundamentally different machine than what we had just decades ago. Look around and you'll see the changes everywhere. Solar panels on rooftops, wind turbines in fields, smart thermostats in homes, electric vehicle chargers everywhere. And they all need to connect to this single system. But here's what that means. Power is now generated in many more locations not just in a few large plants. Electricity can flow from multiple sources and fluctuate in an instant. It creates kind of a two-way highway on the grid. All of this is making the process of generating, transmitting, and distributing power to homes and businesses even more complex and challenging than ever before. The uh, grid has been defined as uh, the most complex uh, system ever built, and particularly with this bi-directional transfer of power as well as uh, non-linear increasing number of alarms and sensors, it's really hard to manage. We have resources which are what we call firm and fixed that provide inertia to the grid, inertia which is required to maintain that stability and balance of the grid. But with the growth of renewable assets, those assets uh, do not provide that inertia. There's no rotating equipment like a turbine has. And so what that does is now the balance of supply is changing. So what are utility companies doing to ensure we always have a reliable source of electricity? How can they ensure the reliability of our grid 
even as it continues to evolve and grow. As in many other industries, utilities are turning to AI as an option. But not just any AI. It's what's called industrial AI. So what is it exactly, and how does it work? So AI has really the potential to unlock capabilities that are currently not possible, that are not even th uh, thinkable. AI is very strong at solving combinatorical problems, and uh, this is in the end the crux of many applications in this uh, distributed network. And industries such as chemical production, oil and gas, pharmaceuticals to manufacturing, have been using some form of AI to optimize their operations. Industrial AI tools are created specifically to automate and optimize. The lesson? It can handle our power grid too. So how exactly does this play out on the electric grid? AI can be used to uh, understand what the renewable resource uh, capacity is, as well as what the predicted future uh, generation will be. So it's important that this is being considered when building an AI system, and uh, this is really why it's important to use industrial AI that's uh, you know, defined through guardrails, robustness, and trusted results. Here's what that looks like in action. Imagine a cloudy day that suddenly reduces solar output, while an entire neighborhood starts charging their electric vehicles at the same time. Normally, this perfect storm would overload the grid and potentially cause blackouts. But AI can analyze this data in real time, spot the potential overload before it happens, and keep your AC running. This is really mission critical. If the power is out, that means hospitals don't have power. And other infrastructure that is key for life support of certain people. So this is really can save lives. All of this technology is going to be critical because Here's the reality. Demand isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. We're asking more of this aging system every single day. Electricity is a fundamental thing that we take for granted every day. We cannot let this fail. If we're going to continue relying on this machine to power our lives, we need to build a true grid of the future. AI holds the key to creating that next generation grid a smart, self-adjusting, reliable network that can handle all that we ask of it. And now, AI might just be what keeps it running. <laughs>